All right, hello and welcome to another Exide interview. My name is John Golden from Sales Pop, online sales magazine and Pipeliner CRM. Joining you as usual from a sunny, little chilly San Diego. And today I am delighted to be joined by Chase Harmer, who is in Nevada. How are you doing, Chase? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on, John. Look of course, of course. Uh, and Chase graduated uh, California State uh, University Pomona with a degree in hospitality management. Since then, he's founded two successful online businesses, Wishes and Profit Pay. Both of them leverage his core competencies in hospitality, customer relationship management, and credit card issuing. At Wishes, uh, you created a platform that simplifies charitable giving by providing full transparency on the use of donated funds for causes to help improve the lives of others uh, you're impassionate about redefining the charitable giving experience and creating a more connected future for all humanity uh, and then on profit pay you developed a solution that makes online payments easy and secure for both businesses and customers so what we talk today about is wishing wishes and charitable giving transparency i guess uh, one of the things chase is it is often when you think about making charitable donations uh, it's always a wonder how much of that reaches the actual recipient. It's like that old story of like, if I give $5 to a, a needy or homeless person on the street, they get $5. If I give to a charity, maybe, I don't know, a cent of it might end up like directly impacting that person, but maybe it won't. Um, so just give me the kind of background of why you de decided to start this, uh, start Wishes. Yeah, well, so after I exited, uh, you know, and, and left my last fintech, um, I had spent the last 11 years uh, building and pioneering some of the virtual credit card technology um, that exists in the market today. And, um, you know, I had been giving to uh, charities and uh, causes more often after that, mm -hmm. uh, because you either have money or you have time, right? And I think yep. if you have time, you volunteer, you, you're actually making that impact because it's all about connection. Right. But mm -hmm. when you give to a charity and you lose sight of what happens and you never understand whatever happens to the dollars, you really kind of lose that connection that you did it for. Right. Because people give to people, um, mm -hmm. you know, you want you're helping a cause, you're helping a person. Um, and if you don't actually understand what happens, then then what's the point? Right. Um, and I think I got kind of sick and tired of going to the grocery store and every grocery store asking me for a dollar. And yeah, well, actually, round up. Saying, yeah, round up. But you never understand where those dollars go. And then you see a commercial uh, later. It's like the grocery store gets the tax write off, number one. And then they're saying, hey, we donated blah, blah, blah to X, Y, Z. Like they didn't actually donate anything. They had a bunch of consumers that cultivated that whole entire prize. And then you don't need like, you actually really have no insight into who they're helping, what they're helping. You have no insight into what charity they're actually donating mm -hmm. to. So I think I just, um, you know, people, I think we're in an age today where um, obviously everyone's concerned about the dollar, but everyone still wants to get back if they can. So it's all about understanding where your dollars go. And, um, you know, I'd spent the last 11 years kind of creating transparency by, you know, in the, in the business world, um, essentially right. turning money into virtual credit cards. And I was like, well, hey, I can do this. Right. I can I know how to do this. And it's uh, not changing consumer behavior. Actually, in fact, um, we're making it very easy for everyone to to do this and not kind of adjusting the consumer behavior, which I think is a, the biggest thing. Right. Is like, mm -hmm. you know, not changing consumer behavior, making it easy and, and always understanding what happens to your dollar. So as a donor, this this was built from a donor side of it where I just wanted to understand. And then so I built a built a platform to to always understand. Yeah. Um, I'm because i mean part of it is yeah i mean people people naturally are kind and and, and want to give and want to you know uh, you know help people um but you're right it's like we're bombarded left right and center constantly with with demands of very emotional advertising all of that and it would be not i mean to your point that it would be nice if i said okay this is the one i'm going to donate to and now i'm going to be able to track the impact of it i'm going to be able to see where it goes i'm going to as you said have some connection with it as opposed to oh i think i gave to them last year i'll give to this other one this year right i mean it's getting harder and if you look at it from a nonprofit side it's getting harder and harder yeah. for them to raise capital because they sure. have the problem like not being able to show what happens to the money so when you donate to a cause and then later, three months later, they're like, hey, we need money for this now. It's like, 
well, what did you do with the last one? You know, so I think what we've actually built is a platform that on both sides really kind of helps both sides of the, the marketplace, right? Is the non it helps nonprofits easier, uh, it make, makes it easier for them to raise dollars because they can show their donors mm -hmm. what's actually happening to that, to that money. And for donors, it's a safe place for them to always understand where their money's going. So, you know, it's really a donor centric platform, but it drives fundraising dollars for, mm -hmm. for nonprofits because our thesis really is that if people understood what happened to their money, they'd give more and more often. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I totally agree with you. And I think one of the things sometimes that people, you know, get, get, it a little bit side sideswiped by is they don't understand the difference that you know there's not for profits and nonprofits doesn't mean they're charities necessarily they could be anything so right. you know you really do have to figure out you know and understand who you're giving to and for what right and so part of what we do is we validate all of the causes and the nonprofits on our side so we actually are attached to candidates so we can validate uh, nonprofits in real time and you know, when we're dealing with like an influencer that's raising uh, money for a cause or we we're the ones that are handling, um, you know, all of that, that financial. So we actually mm -hmm. can push it directly into those charities. And then those people or whoever's fundraising for whatever cause um, can actually show what happens to the money. So there's never um, there's never a, a point where um, the money can be misused or mismanaged. Mm -hmm. So to, just talk me a little bit through um, the platform and, and how it works and how I, as a, as a donor, would get greater transparency. Sure. So if you think about uh, GoFundMe, where as a charity yeah. or a cause or a person, they create a story. Uh, so same situation here where they create a story or they're saying, hey, we're raising money for this or that. Um, or, you know, uh, let's take an instance for the Maui fires, which really recently right. just happened. Um, you know, people needed to get fl flown out of there. They needed groceries for their family. Uh, they needed a place to stay. Um, our platform, we have a public. So there's big, huge differences between our platform and, and that platform. And uh, number one is um, there's tax deductibility on every single donation you do. Um, mm -hmm. Whereas on a platform like GoFundMe or any other platform that's crowdfunding in the space today, there is yeah. no tax deductibility on those donations unless you're doing it directly to a charity. And then they use PayPal or something like that. So here we have a 501c3 public charity that is on the front side of our platform, uh, which is run by a, a separate set of board and executives. And then we have our fintech on the back side. And our fintech is a card issuing platform connected to several different banks. And so what happens is, is when you donate, you can donate to. So individuals can only ask for category specific donations. So when you think about uh, what's the biggest health, what's the biggest fundraising uh, requests on a, a platform like that. It's usually health related. If hey, my kid broke his arm or, hey, I can't mm -hmm. get back to work or yeah. any groceries for my family. That's typically uh, a category specific. So we don't allow, so essentially when someone donates, they can donate directly to a category, right? Number one, mm -hmm. what that does is you actually get the, ta the cash back and rewards for hitting that category. So if you think about your credit card, right? Your credit card probably gives you rewards for if you buy a hotel room or if you sure. get growth or you go to a restaurant, you can actually support one of those categories. So you get the tax write off and you get the cash back and rewards on that on that donation. What we then then the nonprofit governs the impact. So it moves the money from uh, the the 501c3 over right. to a actual virtual MasterCard. OK, that card is pushed directly into a wisher, uh, a wisher's wallet, which would be an Apple Pay or Google Pay or mm -hmm. something like this. And then we have a shopping portal with about uh, we have several thousand uh, retailers, all the biggest box retailers you can think of, like um, Amazon, Walgreens, CVS, Walmart, Sam's right. Club, Taco, all the ones. So and then we can instantly they can instantly start spending that money inside of the category specific that they needed. So. If it's health related, we're connected to all the hospitals and you know care facilities. So those dollars go directly into those payments. Um, and then inside of a, uh, if they say, hey, like I need uh, groceries for my family, for example, it would push it into the grocery category where those those dollars can only be spent at like a Sam's Club or Costco or Kroger's, Ralph's, you know, those types of things. Right. So, so but the cool thing about this is when you, and just to kind of why, how is it transparent? Yeah. When you spend money on a credit card, what do you actually instantly see if you log in? You understand the dollars yeah. and cents, right? Mm -hmm. But we're wishes is the card issuer. On the other side, we actually share that information when the card's spent. So we essentially issue those MasterCards. Those are spent by the wishers in our system. Wishers are 
it could be a charity or a cause or whatever, right. uh, spinning inside of the platform or spinning outside of the platform, but you always understand where those dollars are going and how they're being spent in real time. So you as a donor can instantly know that you really help somebody. Like and if you take, for instance, um, the Maui, we go back to there again. Yeah. Um, people need to get flown out of there. You could actually buy airline tickets, you know, directly for a family um, right. or a hotel or something like that. Get your rewards, get your uh, tax deductibility. That gets pushed in our portal where they can actually instantly buy a flight through Expedia or Hotels.com or uh, you know, uh, or like right. Hilton, Mary, all mm -hmm. of the hotels. So um, the cool thing about that is you, that you keep that connection. I think you actually always understand like, Hey, I really helped this family. Yeah. You always understand that you really actually made a difference. And not only that, you get that tax deductibility and you get that um, those rewards just for doing it through our platform. So. Yeah, and and what I like about this uh, chase is, I mean, going continuing with the Mary Fire, maybe as the example is, you know, the Mary Fire happened, and then you're just inundated with right. all of these different organizations and people and saying, oh, I'm setting up this, and I'm trying to do this and all of that. And it's obviously, I mean, there comes the point where you're, I'm, unfortunately, I'm sure a lot of people reach that place where they just say, oh, I don't know where to donate. So they kind of right. move on. And obviously, it, it tends to be the... Uh, tends to be the tragedy du jour. So, you know, it has a limited uh, news cycle on it, as we saw. Uh, so what I like about this is the fact that, again, it's that connection that I could do. I could connect directly, as you said, by plane tickets for for a, an actual family. Right. Yeah, you can. And I think the other thing is, is what not to mention is like, uh, you know, when those when those disasters happen, all there's nothing but scams out there. There's fake yeah. That are set up. So we want to be seen as like the source of truth. So no matter where you're donating, you always know that not only are you uh, those dollars will be used the right way, but you're donating directly to a cause that's legit, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's the biggest problem that all these other platforms can't solve because they're very reactive. Because the the thing is, is once you send money to a bank account, you lose all insight into what happens to that cash. Yeah. Right? Um, you know, in our platform, what we did is we took out the old banking infrastructure that exists today with all of the crowdfunding platforms and we rebuilt it with the payments infrastructure and, and you know, utilizing my background and some of the seven, seven patents that, that I have mm -hmm. to do that. And then, like you said, it, it, it creates more of a connection because, uh, you know, obviously you're seeing where it goes. You can go right down to like granular, as you said, like making direct impact on people. And I think when that happens, when you feel like that sense of connection or community or that you've done something and it's impacted actual real living individuals or whatever the cause may be, you're more inclined to contribute again. Yeah. And again, exactly. as you said. Right. And I think. You know, our when we when we're going to be boarding um, large organizations that already have group like lots of donors, donors typically aren't just um, giving to one organization, right? Mm -hmm. So the moment that that donor wants to donate somewhere else, he becomes a potential uh, like opportunity for us to cultivate, um, you know, similar types of opportunities for him. But also, he can always he can just donate to any charity that he wants to, organization, cause, or crisis, him and her, you know, obviously, mm -hmm. and then always uh, be, and they really have that dashboard of all the tax receipts, all of the uh, all of the categories supported, and, and the causes, uh, and, the, and the individuals that he helped or she helped. You know. So. Yeah, and that and that's an important point too, as anybody knows. When they come, when tax season comes around, it's often those are the things that you you struggle to find. You think, yeah, no, I gave I gave stuff to this, that, and the other, and I can't remember where did I get a receipt for that? Did I get this? Yeah. And like you said, it's all there for you. Right, right. And I think that's part of our strategy is that we realize that and, and we're also we have a, uh, a private label that's also going into uh, the church and the religious space, which which ultimately, if, if you're tithing or doing those types yeah. of things, you know, that's also separate. You know, you don't really there's lots of things to track, you know, as, a, as an individual mm -hmm. um, donor. And I think we make it easy to have this all in one place, but uh, but also kind of uh, be that conduit for all of the donations that an individual might want to do. Mm -hmm. And then also does, uh, can companies utilize your, you know, for, for their charitable giving? Cause that also would be a, a, a great thing too, is to have more transparency. Cause obviously, you know, a lot of companies do give, but again, yeah. it just tend sometimes it just tends to be like charity budget line item. Here's what we'll do this exactly. year. And there's no real kind of connection or right. follow through with it's it. More, it's more of a tax write off, honestly. So yeah. 
you know, yeah. they're like, hey, we have to do this because also it makes us look like the hero. Yeah. But you know, um, it's better. To, yeah. So organizations, absolutely. They can set up a profile. They can do that and uh, they can donate and they can even have groups. If you think about big organizations like and I'll just say like Facebook or something, because yeah. there's a huge organization of thousands of people, but everyone's like siloed in different you know, things. This is a customer success. This is the devil. Mm -hmm. They're all different. Um, and they don't necessarily talk to one another. Right. Yep. Um, so they all ha maybe have different prerogatives and different things that they want to you know, focus on. Like, hey, let's get together and, and do this uh, organization or donate for this or or for that. So I think even for companies on the donation side is, you know, they can private label the platform and have their own uh, giving platform internally um, where they can, you know, these different groups can come in there and actually choose different things that they want to uh, be a part of. And also, uh, you know, not only just write a check, right. And say, right. Hey, I give a million dollars to, or a hundred thousand dollars to X, but they can actually have impact back. And what that also does is it sets up the ability for the company to then show um, all of the people, all of their customers, Hey, look what we did with this. Look, mm -hmm. look at what we did. Not just like, Hey, we wrote a check because right. anyone can say we wrote a check, but Nobody today can say, hey, look what we did with the money unless they were on the ground volunteering, which we all know most companies just don't have the ability to do. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 And and now with the, such a distributed workforce, too, it's getting harder and harder to do those kind of volunteer, volunteer sure. things. But I love that. I love that idea of people within the company, maybe because often, I mean, we, we've all been in companies where they'll already have decided what their charitable things and maybe something you're totally disconnected from you don't really care about it's just whatever the the ceo or somebody decided this was the one they were going with but that right. idea of maybe having you know people being able to choose or vote or whatever say this one's and then having the follow through i mean that for me for me that's a great Adva that's a great benefit for for companies for their employees yeah. because as we know people want to feel a little bit more connected yeah. And I think uh, it's harder and harder to keep great employees around. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, one of those things that uh, employees rally around is um, the ability to that connection, you know, like, hey, we did something together and hey, we can do this again. And, um, you know, yeah, if it comes directly down from the CEO and says, hey, we're supporting this, you know, that doesn't when you have a team of hundreds or, you know, even, you know, 30, 40 people, you know, yeah. people want to people are connected to whatever they're connected to. Again, it goes back to people want to give to people. Right. And, you know, when they're in, because there's a person at the other end, there's some sort yeah. of mission that's happening. Right. And uh, that person that's giving wants to affect impact on whatever they is important to them. Yeah. And because often, I mean, you know, generally often with, the, with these things that, you know, you get a you get a general feedback. You say, oh, your money went to this this year or whatever. Yeah. But right. you don't get but you don't. But again, you're you're not that connected where you see. I mean, we did one some years ago when you know, we sponsored a child and we used to get letters and photos and all that kind of stuff from Africa, which was which was nice. But uh, but again, it, it's still it's still I don't know how much of the money we were giving still was going to that village, if you like. Exactly. Exactly. Because like anyone could draft a letter. Right. I, yeah. I think, you know, it's like, hey, well, what we did is I mean, but, yeah. you know, really like you don't you don't actually know. Yeah. Like, you know, the part of me creating this platform was I wanted to actually know, like, what goes to admin, what goes to impact. And if I have yeah. that choice and if, if people are if the, the charities or causes are disclosing that, hey, like because list, legitimately uh, yeah. big nonprofits have they have in order to accomplish their mission, they have mm -hmm. people cost and stuff cost. Right. But it's always good to understand that going in there saying, hey. Listen, like with the choices you have impact and admin, we need in order for us to continue to do this good work, we have admin. But, but being, then the donor has the ability to make that choice and say, hey, listen, like I believe in the, what you guys are doing here. Here's blah, blah, blah. Right. Or, hey, I want to really impact this this on the ground floor type of thing and, and make that decision to to help that impact. And. And uh, I think that's really, really where the rubber meets the road, you know? Yeah. And, and also in many ways, it's it's forcing the organizations themselves the charities to be a little bit to be more transparent and to be because then you can make the decision if you look up and you say wow you know 90 percent of their spending is on administration and 10 percent actually ends up anywhere then you know maybe that organization needs to look at its efficiency <laughs> yeah and i mean there is legitimate organizations oh, like sure. on academy that like 
you know, it's it's literally all all admin because you have teachers that are teaching, right? That's right, but those right. are kind of one off situations. The majority of them are are driven by a mission, and and we want to see those dollars go to work uh, towards yeah. that mission because that's really why you're giving, you know. So yeah. And absolutely. And I mean, and obviously, uh, as you go on with your platform, you'll probably, I'm sure, see that the companies that are the most transparent and all of that are probably the ones that do the best. Yeah. I mean, you know, I think there's there's a lot of great charities out there and uh, we want to we want to help them uh, do the work that they're set out to do. And we want to help donors really understand their dollars and, uh, you know, make the most impact yeah. uh, that they can. So. Absolutely. Well, listen, thank you so much, Chase, for uh, bringing us into the world of wishes. All of Chase's information will be in this video. Before we go, please do tell people a little bit more about the business. Yeah. So um, wishes is going to be available right before Christmas this year. Um, you know, we've been building it for about 16 months and uh, we were trying to get live before Thanksgiving and Giving Tuesday. But um, the banks, uh, you know, have their own ideas. So <laughs> we're close and uh, we're excited to, to share what we've built with the world. Um, we think it's a great product. Uh, you can go to wishes.inc, get more information. You can also get on the wait list there. Um, and uh, we will keep you abreast as soon as we are live. So yeah, it's, it's, I'm, I'm, we'll, we'll, we'll join it ourselves um, here uh, because I just think it's great. I mean, I think it's great and it's well needed. It's a great solution uh, because, as I said, I mean, sometimes when you're so bombarded and you don't know where and you don't know where your money goes, you don't know where these people are, you know, you end up not giving and, you know, probably some people you're missing out on, on great opportunities for people. Sure. All right. Well, listen, thanks again, Chase. Thank you for watching, listening. I'll see you all again soon. Thanks, John.